Hello, this is Cadet Airman Vermilion, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to take care of your blue uniform, the belt for that. Um, so when mine arrived, this mechanism here, this looks pretty simple, easy to, you know, get that to work, but it, it was simple and weird at the same time. Like, it took me a really long time to figure out how to get that to work. So anyway, first you're going to want to open up the package, obviously, and then once you've unrolled the belt, there's this part right here that doesn't have the tip, and this part that does have the tip, and oh, another thing too, I'm wearing disposable gloves because fingerprint smudges on these are really easy to get, so anyway, um, let's see. Right, so, we've got this little dangly part here, and you're going to put the fabric part through here, and then I've found that um, the little hump type thing over here that looks like a good spot to put it to, and then just hold it there, and then push this down to clamp it in, and now that's nice and tight there. And then, once you're actually putting it on, the silver tip you put in here, put past the little retaining bar, and you might have to fill with that a little bit. I've gotten it stuck there sometimes. Um, then you put it to the edge right here, hold it down, and I found that that seems like the best spot to hold it to because if you hold it just a little bit beyond, you've got fabric that ends up showing. So, hold it down there, and then clamp, pull that back, um, yep, and so now you've got the belt, it's working like that, and so this part here, uh, if you're wearing the belt and you're female, this part goes to your right, if you're wearing the belt and you're a male, that part goes to the left, um, and then when it arrives, for myself, I ended up having to cut this much off, and my pants are getting hemmed right now, so it might be a little bit more, but, um, anyway, so, I had this on, sort of on over some stuff, cinching it down to figure out what I needed to cut off, and so I just pushed the fabric through like this until I got to the right spot, and then I'm not quite sure if you're going to be able to see it, but there's a little bit of, um, like, I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but those pointy things there definitely hold down into the fabric. And so then, once I clamped down to where I thought I needed it to be, I got some scissors and cut through it. It's kind of thick fabric, obviously. Um, right here is the original, yeah, this is the original seal that it came with, and then I just kind of duplicated that, not on this end, but on the actual end, um, just a lighter, go across it a little bit, like that, that took care of that issue, and then also, you might want to put, um, maybe car wax or you know, some sort of a clear sealant or something like that on it just to try to make it a little harder for fingerprint smudges to get on here. Um, but yeah, so it's not that hard, just got to get used to it. Not too hard. Yeah, anyway, so this end again, in through here, clamp that down. And then this end, well, it's easier once you've got this. It's just a lot easier once you've got this in so that you know which side is which. But anyway, so you got that in. Push that through. Hold. Pull back. And there you go. 